most revered figure in Filipino boxing. If Pacquiao is anywhere near as good as Elordi, we've got a real fight coming up. So it's the Southpaw Pacquiao against the conventional fighter Lidwaba. And Pacquiao. Say Pacquiao. 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 Pacquiao yeah. should fight here. He shouldn't try to get into a boxing match with this master boxer from South Africa. You gotta fight this. Don't allow him to get into his boxing groove. Then you are in shape trying to box a boxer in bad shape. And Pacquiao, Pacquiao landing some hard shots. That's what you gotta do. Throw it all out. Manny Pacquiao has landed the harder shots in round one, and now he dominates the last minute of the round with a full-scale attack against Ledwaba. Freddie Roach said to me yesterday, hey, look, we have great respect for Ledwaba, and we know he's a great boxer, but he won't be able to handle Manny's firepower. Well, he took... So we watched Ledwaba get off to a great start down in South Africa. Here he gets off to an uncertain start against Pacquiao's hard punches in round one, and here comes the Filipino fighter again. Boom! Ledwaba is going to have to do something to slow down his charge. You want to fight? The fight is yours, but it's not going to develop like that. You talk about getting old in a hurry. Lechinola Ledwaba looks like an old 29 in there Six. against 24-year-old Manny Seven. Pacquiao right now. Eight. How you feeling? You okay? I didn't see the punch. It, it looked like a... I think it started in the first couple of punches thrown in the first round. Absolutely. I think this guy just hit so hard that Ledwaba is totally on the defensive. Ledwaba came in as the potential star. Right now, it looks like Pacquiao may go out as the star. He took this fight on only two weeks' notice, only came here to America ten days ago, and he is banging Ledwaba right now. You gotta fight. If you want to be a star, you gotta fight. That's a rude awakening for a good master boxer like Ledwaba. There you go, a body shot by Ledwaba. That Pass may change Pacquiao. things. You got it. lands two straight lefts. He went to the body, and that's the most important shot tonight. Right to the body. Zone. And bangs Ledwaba again with a big left upstairs. What a fight. They're trading vicious body shots at short range. Hook, land the left hook. Hock out of the body with an explosive shot. And another. And a big right hand upstairs. And now he's got Ledwaba back on the defensive and bleeding badly. He's got to stay on it. He cannot give him a break. Ledwaba does not want to fight. You, want to, you don't have it as reserves. Give you oxygen. I don't know if a, what a doctor would say about that. <laughs> I think he'd say exactly what you're saying. I think you're through the first three. Okay, Jim. 30 to 26, three rounds to nothing. Uh, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, in the, in the second round, of course, you got to give him a 10-8 round, an extra point for the knockout. That was incredible. It appeared as it, it appeared as though Joe Cortez was going to stop. Interesting enough. Another thing. Cassius Green is probably using adrenaline chloride, one to one thousand in the nose, oh. and ice on the outside. When he holds his ground and throw that straight right hand of his, he shouldn't bend over at all. You just got to stand in position, in the pocket, the job of it. Yeah, but so far, Pacquiao has landed more power shots than Ledwaba has been able to throw punches. So it's a copy box wipeout. There's a big left hand for Ledwaba. But here comes Pacquiao again. Ledwaba stands his ground and just throw the right hand. The guy's right there in front of him. There it is. Here you go. But you want about four or five of those. And can't reach out for it as Lawaba's doing. You gotta let him just fall into it. Now Lawaba seizes the initiative. Starts firing his jab. Learns. 
got to do it. A guy from the Philippines, a guy from South Africa, giving us called Hands of Stone, which of course originated with Roberto Duran. But Pacquiao is the one. Go out of your way. Pacquiao got away with a low blow. Joe Cortez was blocked from seeing it. Freddie Roach also told his fighter, don't follow Ledwaba around. Cut off the ring. Come up. Ledwaba getting a little bit more adept at ducking and slipping away from Pacquiao's power shots. Hasn't yet found the right offense to go behind that. That's what Pacquiao's got to do. Keep throwing the shots, Pacquiao. With mustard. Pacquiao is fun to watch. He's been caught by surprise. He's a good fighter. He had no idea. Pacquiao may take care of it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do you feel? You gonna continue? Take it, take it. When have you ever okay, seen okay, a fighter go. say, I'm, I'm not okay? <laughs> There's a weariness and almost a resignation in the eyes of Led Waba. Joe Cortez has seen enough. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao, who takes a good fighter and just takes him apart with power yeah, shots. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Pacquiao wanted. took the fight on two weeks' notice. Out to Michael Buffer and pay honor to Manny Pacquiao. Ladies and gentlemen, at 59 seconds of round number six, referee Joe Cortez, following the second knockdown, waves off the count and calls a halt to the bout. The winner by knockout victory. And now, a two-time world champion, he is now the reigning IBF Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Manny Pacquiao. You know, I said before this fight, guys, that if he was anywhere near as good as Flesh Alordi, we would really see something.